Hello, hello, Andrea here with Dental L Mobile Hygiene. So my goal in this video is to really educate you guys and questions you should be asking your dentist if, if your child is diagnosed with dental decay and their first, I guess, thing that they say to you is that your child needs sleep sedation. You do have options. Your child doesn't, doesn't necessarily need sleep sedation. So it does depend on a couple things. So let me share my screen here. The first thing I look at with children, and I do ask the parents these questions of, well, how old is your child? So this is a great image of um, primary teeth, so baby teeth. And this shows how many teeth they have when they're you know, starting to come in. Um, when these teeth will start to erupt and when they shed, meaning when they lose those teeth. Every child is different, so take this lightly. You know, your child might get their teeth early, they might get their teeth late, they might shed their primary teeth early, or they might shed their primary teeth a year later. Every child is different, honestly. But this is what I look at, because let's say they have a cavity in their front tooth here, and they're five and a half. Well, look, they're going to lose that tooth age six or seven. So it might, that really depends where, okay, maybe we don't necessarily have to put your child through sleep sedation, a traumatizing dental experience, if they're going to possibly lose that tooth in, you know, six months or a year's time, that's still a long time. So we can't just leave that cavity alone, but there's many different things we can do. So what I talk to most parents about, whoops, sorry, guys back to my video here. Um, what I talk to most parents about is, well, let's determine when they might lose those teeth and then we'll talk about it. When I see a cavity, that's the first thing I look at is when might they lose those teeth or tooth. So let's say it's possible in six months. I'm not just going to leave it. I'm going to apply a liquid to the teeth that they don't often have in dental offices because it's easier for them to fill the teeth. But a dental hygienist does have that liquid. So what I do, I apply a liquid called silver diamine fluoride that will kill that cavity. It kills the bacteria of that cavity. So that cavity cannot get worse. It takes two seconds. It's amazing for kids. It does work for adults too, by the way. If the decay is small enough, if there's a big hole in that tooth from dental decay sitting there and eating away at that tooth for a year or months even, that liquid's not going to work. And I'm going to tell you, they do need to see the dentist to get a filling to bring the tooth structure back because there's no way that that liquid is going to work. That silver diamine fluoride liquid though, does need to be applied a couple weeks later, depending on the size of the cavity. So I would come back for two minutes to just reapply that liquid. It takes two seconds. Um, and then every three months is preferred after that, just to really make sure that that cavity does not get bigger. But your child also needs to be using a high strength fluoride toothpaste. Again, you guys, I can't diagnose. I need to see your child in person. So whatever I say, don't just go out and buy a high strength fluoride toothpaste. I suggest talking to your dental professional or having me come to your house if you're in my area for me to have a look. Because a high strength fluoride toothpaste, your child might not need it. But if they're getting cavities, they probably do. And these ones you cannot buy in stores. It needs to be ordered through your dental professional. But a high strength fluoride with xylitol, by the way, toothpaste, will prevent those cavities from getting worse and prevent new cavities. Just because you treat cavities, it doesn't mean they can't get cavities in any other tooth or around those other cavities. Why did the cavities happen in the first place? It's because sugar was sitting there too long, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not brushing your child's teeth properly or your child's not brushing. It could mean that maybe you're not brushing enough, but it could also mean that your child has acidic saliva. So I look at all of that too. If they have acidic saliva, their saliva is constantly attacking their teeth. I know it sounds horrible, but it's true. So without a fluoride and xylitol toothpaste, it's going to get worse. But with a fluoride and xylitol toothpaste, it can only get better with constant use and me coming to reapply that silver diamine fluoride on those cavity areas. As soon as I see a tiny cavity come up, I can apply that liquid and that might even stop a cavity from even happening. And it could make it, you know, get less of a cavity, make it smaller. <laughs> that can happen with very tiny cavities too. I would also apply what's called a fluoride varnish, which also takes like one second, 
over all of the teeth to help to protect them. So there's definitely things we can do as a dental hygienist. If your dentist has recommended sleep sedation for your child, I'm not saying they are wrong because they're not, but you have other options out there. And it does depend on when that child is going to lose their teeth. It depends on the oral hygiene care you're going to do at home but you probably don't know what to do. So that's where your dental hygienist comes in to help you. So comment below if you have any questions. I am very happy to help and I'll talk to you guys very soon.